Hey guys, welcome back to Storytale Cakes. Happy New Year, I hope you had an amazing 2017 and that 2018 will be even more awesome. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this buttercream watercolor effect with geometric patterns and how to make this awesome heart topper as well. This cake was actually inspired by a gift bag I found at the $2 shop. I just thought it looked so cool and I had to make a cake out of it. So it's, inspiration is pretty much everywhere and you'll be surprised where you can find it. So I would say, you know, you're looking for ideas or cakes to make, just go to like $2 shops and look at the bag patterns and you might come across something majestic like this. So let's get started. So I have this really cool heart bag and we're gonna recreate this heart shape here just for our cake topper. What I've done is I've printed out on Google a geometric heart. Just type in geometric heart on Google, it'll pop up. And then you'll find that some of the hearts you find on Google have too many lines. So you can erase some of them out so you get nice bigger triangles. I've got in some gum paste. You can of course use fondant and mix it with a bit of tie lace. I just think gum paste will set faster for the topper. Just wanna roll it out. Don't make it too thin. Probably like just that thickness there. Just enough for you to put the skewer through without it showing. Now we're gonna take our heart and place it onto our gum paste. So this is just a little guide of where you can cut your heart. Put this up in like an airtight container so it doesn't dry out as well because gum paste dries out quite quickly. Next step is to take one of the skewers here with the pointy end here. You want to insert about halfway upwards. Actually, I'm going to trim this down a bit. So I'm going to take this because I think this is a little too long so I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to insert it through. Next up, take your heart template, place it over and then create the indents. Gorgeous. So this is the heart we're going for, a really majestic heart. We're going to do blue, purple, pink and white with gold outlines. I've got here some pink fondant. I'm going to just roll it out. And now this time you don't need to make it too thick because you've already got the stick through. Cut out rough triangles and place it over the heart and if you have any excess simply trim it off. And pretty much you just need to follow the same steps for all the other colors. The next thing you want to do is just cut out some strips because we're going to place it over the triangles and paint them gold. Use your knife to go around and sharpen up the edges. Mix gold luster dust with rose spirit until you get a desired colour. There's no exact quantity because I just eyeball it. If it's too diluted, simply add more luster dust and if it's too thick, add more rose spirit. So to prepare our cake, I've prepared four different buttercream colours. We have here blue because that's going to be like the main base. And then we have some pink, white and purple. Melt a bit of chocolate and place it onto the board. I recommend using chocolate as opposed to buttercream because it won't slide on hot weather. So you want to work with this quite quickly, just so the chocolate doesn't set. So I want to put the purple there, give it a bit of a press down. And in this way you don't have to worry about it sliding on hot weathers because the chocolate will definitely seal it in place. Add a generous layer of buttercream in between the layers of the cake. What you want to do now is apply blue buttercream all around the cake, just a really thin layer just to, you know, get all the crumbs in place and pop it in the fridge to set for 10 minutes. So I'm just building up the top. It's time to now pop this into the fridge for about 10 minutes so it can set for our final coat. I've taken the cake out of the fridge and now I'm applying the final coat. And now for the fun part, we're going to smear different colour buttercream all around the cake and then just wipe it off in one go for a nice watercolour effect. And you can add the excess buttercream on top. 
The great thing about watercolour cakes is you can build the colours, so I've darkened up a little bit more purple and smeared it over the cake. Just make sure you do this quickly before the buttercream starts to crust. And next up, use a spatula, scrape or knife to indent the lines where you want the strips to be. I actually quite like it like this, so you can leave it like this or watch on to see the gold on it. Remember to fridge it for 20 minutes before the next step though. Our cake now has been taken out of the fridge and if you can see, it doesn't really stick to your fingers. That's when you know it's ready to put the gold stripes on. So what we're going to do now is create all these gorgeous gold stripes to go over the lines that we made before. I really recommend using a ruler to help create straight lines. enjoyed this tutorial stay tuned for next week's tutorial because I'm gonna make another cake inspired by a bag uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe for more tutorials see you soon